Hey guys, this is Mr. Geist for Algebra 2 Unit 1.4 Notes, Day 3. Today we're going to be talking about writing equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. Our learning target today is to be able to write slope-intercept equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. So, let's go ahead and get started. Parallel lines have blank slope. Hmm. Do you know what that, that word is? Well, they have the... Dun, 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 dun. Same slope. And you might be like, Mr. Grice, you are full of it. I don't think that's true at all. Well, let's take a look. Let's find the slope of this first line. I'm going to go up one, two, three. So I went up three to the right one. So my slope of that first line is three over one. And now let's check the second one. I'll do it in blue. Okay, so I'm going to check it from one point to the next. I go up one, two, three. Oh, I went up three and I went over one. So that slope is three over one, two. And is that the same? Uh, yes, it is. Okay, so parallel lines have, we'll actually write this out a little bit nicer, have the same slope. Okay, so let's find out about perpendicular lines. Now, you might know what two words go there, but let's double check. So here's my first point, my first line that we're talking about. I think this is, yep, that's the same. It was 3 over 1, so 1 slope is 3 over 1. And now let's do the other one. Okay, ooh, this one I go down, so I went down one, and then I went over one, two, three, so that slope is negative one over three. Well, one's three over one, one's one over three, one's positive, one's negative. So the way we describe that, perpendicular lines have the opposite, because one's positive, one's negative, and the other one is reciprocal, okay? Uh, that might not be exactly how you spell it, because you guys know I'm a terrible speller. Um, but perpendicular lines have the opposite and reciprocal slopes, okay? So what they're asking us to do is write the slope-intercept equation of the line with the given characteristics. Now. It's very important that we read through and ask and find out if they want a perpendicular line or a parallel line. Because if it's perpendicular, I'm going to have to do something with this slope, okay? My current slope is one half. I want the opposite reciprocal of that. So right now it's positive one half. I'm going to change it so it's negative and it's negative. 2 over 1, which is negative 2, okay? So that's my new slope that I'm going to use, and then I have to go through the point 6, 7, okay? So now it's the same as yesterday, where we, were, we talked about the three different styles of writing equations, okay? This is our point slope, so I know what my slope is, my slope is negative 2, and then remember which one's your x and which one's your y. So there's my 7, there's my 6, and then I'm just going to go through and solve, all right? So I have y minus 7 equals, you have to distribute the negative 2, so that turns into negative 2x, and then negative 2 times negative 6 is a positive 12. And then to solve for y, I add 7 to both sides, and we get y equals negative 2x plus 19. And that's my final answer, so I'm going to put the box around it, and we are good. Okay, so number 2, it's asking for a parallel line, okay? So parallel line, I need to steal the slope, okay? 
my slope is going to be 5 because parallel means the same slope. Okay, so there's my slope and there's my point. There's my x and there's my y. I like this because I really don't have a lot to do. Okay, as in flipping the slopes and all of that. So my slope is 5. And then I put my y with my y, my x with my x. And remember, if there's uh, two negatives, that turns into a positive. The first thing we have to do, we're going to have to distribute the 5. So we have y minus 4 equals 5x plus 10. And then to get the y by itself, we add the 4 to both sides. And we get y equals 5x plus 14. Okay. So remember, the key thing is to look at what's the word. Okay, the key word, parallel, same slope. So I have to steal that slope. And so my slope for this one is going to be negative one third. There's my slope, and there's my point, x comma y. OK. So I'm going to plug in my slope, negative one third. And then 7 goes with the y, and the negative 3, so that turns to 2 negatives, so that's a positive 3. And then we solve. Okay, we're going to distribute the negative 1 third, turns into negative 1 third x. Okay, and then I have negative 1 third times 3. Remember, if you have trouble with that, load up your calculator. I have negative one-third in parentheses, and I'm times it by three, and that equals negative one. Now my y is not by itself yet, so I'm going to add seven to both sides, and I get y equals negative one-third x plus six. Number four, keyword, perpendicular. So I'm going to look for my slope, which is negative four-thirds. So if my slope is negative four-thirds, I want the opposite and reciprocal. So currently it's negative, so now it's going to be positive. It's four over three, so now it's going to be three over four. So this is going to be the new slope that we use. And there's my point. There's my x. There's my y. We're using point slope because they gave us a point in the slope. That's right. So I'm going to fill in the equation. There's my slope. My y is 5. And my x, two negatives, turn that to a positive 8. Okay, distribute that first one is easy. Just turns to 3 fourths x, and then 3 fourths times 8. So in parentheses, 3 divided by 4 times it by 8, and we get 6. Okay, the y is not by itself, so I have to add 5 to both sides. And then I get y equals... 3 fourths x plus 11. Okay, so the only hard part that we really have to pay attention to is what is it asking for? Does it want parallel or does it want perpendicular? Okay, so for number six, what does it want? Parallel or perpendicular? Yeah, it wants parallel, so we want the same slope. 
it tells us our slope. There's not much I have to do with it. It's just, hey, I'm using, this is my slope. Okay, here's my point, x comma y. And when we plug in, we're going to have two negatives there. So that means both of those are going to change to positive. All right, my slope is 1 fourth, positive 3, and this will be positive 12. So we're solving right now. I'm going to distribute the 1 fourth x and then 1 fourth times 12. And you get 3. The y is not by itself yet, so I'm going to subtract 3 to both sides. And 3 minus 3 is, yeah, that's 0. So my equation is just y equals 1 fourth x. Yeah, that looks a little weird, doesn't it? Does it still have a y-intercept? Uh, yeah, Mr. Grice, because technically it's plus 0. But we don't need to write that in there. Okay, keyword for number six is, that's right, it's perpendicular, okay? So my current slope is negative one-fifth. I want the opposite reciprocal. So five over one, which is five. So that's going to be my new slope that I use. So I know that my slope is 5, and then my point, we have x and y, and once again I have two negatives, so that's going to turn both of those into positives. Distribute your 5. Five times x is 5x, five, 5 times 1 is 5. And then to get the y by itself, we subtract three to both sides. And we get y equals 5x plus 2. All right, number seven. What's my slope? OK, I know that it's parallel but I don't really see anything in there except a negative. So yeah, it's a negative one. They're trying to be tricky there, okay? So my slope's going to be negative one, and now we can plug everything in, okay? Let's plug it in together. So I got negative one, and then remember your x and your y, because that's our point, okay? So this is a positive 9, and this is just 5. Why don't you see if you can pause the video and solve this one all on your own. Good luck. Okay, so you should have distributed the negative 1 to get negative 1x plus 5. I subtract the 9 to both sides. And we get y equals negative 1x minus 4. Now, if you look at my final answer, I didn't write the 1 there. So you guys just kind of need to know that on a multiple choice test, this is what you're going to see right here, okay? But this answer, these things mean the same thing. Okay, number 8. What's our keyword for number 8? Good. Our keyword is perpendicular. We have to steal the slope. So the current slope is 4 over 3. I want the opposite reciprocal. So I switch it up to negative 3 over 4. That's going to be the slope that we use. And there's our x and our y. Okay? So just like the last one, 
I'm going to help you. Well, I already helped you. You guys are going to do the rest on your own. Okay, go ahead and pause the video and good luck. Okay, and you should have gotten y equals negative 3 over 4x minus 2. All right, number 9 and 10, guess what? You are all on your own. I'm not even going to tell you what the keywords are, what your slopes are, what your points are. All on your own, okay? So do number 9, do number 10, uh, and when you start the video up again, you will see the answers. So pause the video, and good luck. Okay, so yeah, number nine, ugh, it kind of worked out a little funky. All right, um, just remember we want everything as fractions, so you've got the math enter enter button, so you shouldn't be too scared about it. Okay, um, so you distributed the two thirds, two thirds times two is four over three. Um, I added six, and that ends up being 22 over three. Okay. Um, for perpendicular number 10, we had to do the opposite and reciprocal of the slope. Do you remember to do that? Uh, so then we get negative 4 thirds x plus 12 because a negative times a negative is a positive, and then I subtract a 2 to get 10. So y equals negative 4 thirds x plus 10. Now, there's just a little bit different stuff ish that we have to do for number 11. So number 11, I know that I need to be parallel, but um, guys, where's my slope? Oh, I got to find my slope. So I have 3x plus 5y equals 10. I need to find my slope first, OK? So I have to solve for y. I'm going to subtract the 3x. I get 5y equals negative 3x plus 10. I divide by 5, and remember, I have to divide everything by 5, and I get y equals negative 3 over 5x plus 2. Now, I need my slope. So my slope is negative 3 over 5. Remember, I wanted parallel, and parallel means the same slope. So now that I have my slope, I can come back to my point slope, plug in negative 3 over 5, and then there's my point, x, y. So we got y plus 7, excuse me, equals negative 3 over 5, in parentheses, x minus 5. Okay, so just a little bit more work, not a lot. And then everything else is the same. I'm going to distribute. So on the left side, I have y plus 7 equals negative 3 over 5x. And then negative, sorry, negative 3 over 5 times negative 5 gives us a positive 3. And then I need to subtract 7 to both sides. So we get y equals negative 3 over 5x minus 4. OK, so the first thing we have to do is find our slope. And if you look at number 12, I want perpendicular. But once again, I don't know what my slope is. All right, so I have to solve. Now, the thing that I like about this one is when I subtract the 3x right away, y is already by itself, so y equals negative 3x plus 11. My current slope is negative 3 over 1. I want the opposite reciprocal of that, so that would be 1 third. So I take a look at my point. I know which one's my x and which one's my y. And then I'm just going to plug in. 
I'm going to do my slope first at one third, and then turns to a plus six and a plus nine. Okay, so we're going to distribute the one third. So I get one third x. Sorry, let's make that look like a one. And one third of nine is actually three. Subtract the six to both sides. And we get y equals one third x minus three. Okay. So it's not too bad, is it? Just pay attention to the keywords, what it's asking for. And I think you guys can do it. All right. Well, that's it for Algebra 2, Unit 1.4, Notes, Day 3. Uh, if you have any questions, please come see Ms. Carranza or myself. We would love to help you out. Otherwise, this is Mr. Grace signing off. Thanks for watching.